With adventure in the air, Bob Folkrod begins his quest for Cape Buffalo with a long trek across the Atlantic and deep into the heart of the dark continent. It's like any other airplane ride. I went through Detroit uh, and Detroit into Atlanta. We cleared customs and you're basically going to take a 14, 15 hour flight into South Africa where Teeny's crew picked me back up. We had a few hour drive and wound up at Teeny's camp in South Africa. Located in northern South Africa, Warthog Safaris offers Bob the kind of dangerous game hunting he's dreamed about all his life. Well, anytime I think a kid grows up, there's probably two places in his mind that he would like to visit if the opportunity came in. Alaska being one and uh, Africa being the second one. Growing up as a boy, I mean, you've seen the, the stories and everything about Africa from Plains game to dangerous game. And one thing for sure, when you pick out an outfitter to come to Africa and hunt dangerous game, you want to know his track record. It's one thing for you to have your confidence in your equipment, but it's also probably twice as important to know that you've got a pH stand in there that can protect you also. For this hunt, Bob has chosen seasoned pH Teeny Bamberger, who knows exactly how stealthy and dangerous the fearless Black Death truly is. Well, hunting Cape Buffalo is the ultimate challenge. Most hunters that comes for their dangerous game or starting off a dangerous game wants to get a Cape Buffalo. It's a very challenging and dangerous hunt. A lot of professional hunters and a lot of hunters has lost their lives over the years hunting Cape Buffalo. Well, Cape Buffalo, they've been called all kinds of names, Black Death, and they're intimidating, they're big, they're powerful. And it's like any game, realistically, if he has a chance to run from you, probably he will until you keep pushing him and then all of a sudden they take a stand. That's where it can go wrong. You can never let your guard down when you're hunting Cape Buffalo. You always got to be alert, always got to play the wind and make sure that you're in a safe position. There's no room for error when you're hunting Cape Buffalo. Because when he goes in that thick brush and you come after him, chances are he's going to come for you. And that's why they call him Black Death. He will run over you and you need confidence in your equipment, your ammo, and mostly your pH to help protect you also. It's very intimidating for any hunter, even the well-experienced professional hunters in Africa, to have a herd of Cape Buffalo running right at you. Don't come over and think that, you know, this is, uh, this is something that's not gonna hurt you. You hear about it every year, about somebody that, that, that got killed in Africa on dangerous game, and that, my friends, is why they call it dangerous game. Bob's wait is over, and as day one of his hunt begins, Teeny and his guide start this deadly quest by searching for sign down at a local water hole. Well, we're on the tracks, on buffalo tracks. This is always something to watch. These guys get on these tracks when they track them down. You can see how thick it is, so we're gonna be up close and personal to them. Gosh sakes, it's exciting. basically doing was to get a buffalo down for the village. It could be a, a, a trophy, a non-trophy, could be a cow, could be a bull, but the village wanted some meat. They were desperate needed for some meat, so guess who's going to supply the meat for the village? Here's one standing in the tree. Yeah, I see. You could see they were bedded down. We came up to them good. We played the wind good, and they were bedded down. And you could see an ear flicker once in a while. You could see a tail go. The wind swirled, and, and, and then those, those buffalo took off. I mean, you, you talk about being tight. I mean, you are in the middle of these buffalo, and they know that we're after them now. Oh, my goodness. It's not easy. No, not in this thick stuff. It was right there. Like, don't come no closer. It's hot. It's hot. Uh, after a close call, at close quarters, with the beast they call the Widowmaker, Bob can't help but reflect on his lifelong experience hunting dangerous game. 
That's the kind of stuff that you're programming in your mind as you're, you're going, you're letting the trackers do their job. What's your job? Your job is to try to make a good shot, try to follow it up with a second shot if you need to, a third shot. You should be thinking what your job is. That's to try to get us good, clean kill. <laughs> Oof. He growled at us. Now they know we're after him. So we circled back around, and we're pushing, pushing, pushing. And we run smack dab into a big bull. I mean, he was looking right at us, like six or seven steps away. Come, get come, come, that bull. Shoot that bull. Ah, ah, ah. OK, wait, don't shoot again. You got him. All right. <laughs> God damn. Whew. You talk about exciting. It's down. I don't see it moving anymore. No, I don't either. Let's go forward. We walk over, you know, six, seven steps from where we hit him. He went another six to eight, ten steps, and that buffalo had fell down. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Bob. It's a Cape Buffalo, and they just don't make an adventure any more exciting than that right there. Best of all, this adventure's just begun. Now that Bob's provided meat for the local villagers, it's finally time to focus on taking a bull for himself. Well, we're heading out to the village to tell the people where the buffalo is located that you just shot. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch up with one of the other satellite groups, see if we can do another one. They'll be happy tonight. We'll They'll be very happy. Get, they'll Lots be in here protein. dancing for Lots us, won't they? <laughs> with one buffalo already on the ground for the local villagers, Bob and Teeny are back on the hunt, tracking a herd that's leaving plenty of sign to follow. We decided to try a different area, something that wasn't quite so thick, and uh, give ourselves a chance to now to hunt a trophy bull. Well, Mr. Bob, you can see we're in Buffalo Territory. Look at the rub here. If we can get a hold of the big old bull that did this, we'll be in good shape. Let's go. It was still pretty thick. There's still some leaves, but it had opened up a, quite a lot. And once we found the tracks, then we could zero in onto them. Back on the track again. You can imagine how much they weigh be able to leave an imprint in that when they ran across it. Look at that, 2,200 pounds. That's a big critter to leave a mark like that in this, in this ground. My weapon of choice is a 375 Winchester Model 70. I am kind of a big person, but I don't like to recoil. And that's why uh, I customized it a little bit by putting a muzzle brake onto it. What that does is pushes me straight back. It doesn't jump. And you don't have time if it jumps to bring it back down when you got something charging you. The ammo is I'm using. Uh, Partitions is my first uh, bullet inside, and I've backed it up with solids in case uh, something comes for me, and it's up close and personal. In this particular case, it's a little more open. I had a little more time that we could see them, judge them, look at them like that. I had three solids in the bottom with a partition in the chamber. But again, I'm, I'm shooting <laughs> the best ammo in the world. I can have an animal quartered at me, hit him on that shoulder blade. It's going to come out on the other side. That's why I use a 375. That's why I use the ammo I do, because there's nothing on those animals that's going to stop this bullet. It's going to keep on breaking and pushing. And that's what I need when I'm hunting something called Black Death. And all of a sudden, right there they was, standing there looking at us. We had the wind. Everything was in our favor. There was no sun shining on to them. Yeah, that one, yeah, that one, yeah, that one. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a young bull. That, that, thank you, thank you, thank you. I pulled up on the one, then poof, they started to run again, and except he, he paused for just a second and turned around and looked back at me. There he is. Are you on him? Yep. OK, on the shoulder. Africa, my friends. Cape Buffalo, Black Death, whatever you want to call him. But when he turns around and looks at you, them beady black eyes stare right straight through your soul. And you better hope that you've done your homework. Take him. Reload. Boom, and the gun went off. And his nose almost hit the ground. I mean, he went almost down. I bolted it, and we took off after him. I got a shell. Go. Let's go. This way. Listen, 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 listen. Jesus, listen, listen, listen. listen. And you could hear him just like an old black bear that you shot with an arrow or a gun. You could hear him. Come here, come here, come. Basically, it was like a radar. We could go right to him. If he decides he's going to get back up, we can hammer him, or we both can hammer him and keep him down again. But now we got this one right there. All we got to do is make sure he's not going to get back up again. We got up to him, we seen him, and, and he was down. He's down. Good job. All right. And you talk about exciting, and what a bull. That's what we come to Africa for. Well, let's go look at the buffalo, I think. 
We gave it enough time, one shot. One shot, Buffalo. And when you hit something, that first shot, trust me, you want to make sure that first shot is on the money. And the petition was all I needed on that second Buffalo. I always start with saying, OK, can you hit that silver dollar? Not on the bench, but offhand, off sticks. And this is so thick that we didn't have time to, to, to put up sticks. And, and we're in there close. You know, so can you hit the silver dollar? So make sure that first shot is where it's supposed to be. Perfect shot. Perfect shot. We go up and we touch his eye, and all of a sudden you'll look at this thing and you go, Phew. no wonder they call him Black Death. What a beast. What a beast. God, look at the boss on that thing. I think you got yourself a beautiful buffalo. Huge, 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 huge bosses. Nice spread on him. This is very realistic expectations if you're coming to hunt here in Africa. It's a very nice, extremely good representative oh. of a good buffalo. One more time, my ammo, my gun, and my nerves was tested. But all the homework that we'd done, from the gun to the ammo, paid off. Good another job. adventure, another adventure.